responsible. Oh, I remember uh, the inauguration speech of uh, President Biden. He wanted to change the culture in Washington. He wanted to bring us together. Uh, he picked the one issue that we were actually working together on and blew it up. We have passed, in a bipartisan fashion, well over $4 trillion of COVID relief by over 90 votes. We had a Republican president, a Democratic, uh, excuse me, a Republican Senate and Democratic controlled House, and we're able to spend $1.9 trillion uh, in, in about 24 hours because we all saw the need. Uh, there are Republicans who are trying to sit down with the president to have a more tailored package. Uh, I'm for checks, but not for people who make $250,000. The minimum wage has got nothing to do with COVID, zero to do with COVID. It's got everything to do with their liberal wish list. Everybody's got a story. I grew up in the back of the sanitary cafe in central South Carolina. We lived in the back of the restaurant. We had a liquor store on one side, a restaurant bar on the other, and downstairs we had a uh, pool room. And when I was old enough, I ran the pool room and I worked for food. So the bottom line is, I know what it's like for businesses to have to absorb increased cost. There's only so much you can pass on to the consumer. So this is the really bad idea. I don't mind looking at increasing the minimum wage in a responsible way. I just met with the Waffle House today. If you don't know who the Waffle House is, you're not in touch with America. So, so the Waffle House is where the rubber meets the road in terms of affordable good food and people working hard and living off uh, tips. So they got a plan I'm gonna talk to Joe Manchin about, about how to increase the minimum wage index at to inflation that will be easier for business and get us to where we wanna go. But what these folks are proposing is doubling it at a time when government at the state and local level is pretty much restricting your ability to earn a living. You want a one-two punch for small business? This is it. How many small businesses in the hospitality industry are less than full capacity? And at the time you're reducing their ability to serve their customers because of COVID concerns, you're going to double their cost. That makes zero sense. So to the American people, we told you, if they got in charge of everything, watch out. It was worse than I thought. So I'm hoping the parliamentarian will see a doubling of the minimum wage is a major policy decision inconsistent with reconciliation. I do believe there's bipartisanship to move the minimum wage up in a more responsible fashion. And I would urge President Biden, if you can't find common ground here, you're not looking hard enough. Because all of us have voted for very large sums of money to help the country get back on its feet with the COVID relief package. The bill, Mr. President, that you're pushing has got more to do with a liberal wish list than getting us back in business due to the COVID package and helping people with the vaccines. So um, all I can say is that this $1.9 trillion being jammed in a partisan fashion, doubling the minimum wage and a bunch of other stuff is the furthest thing from unity I've seen. And what's so sad, this is the one area we're all working well together and now that has been destroyed. So I would urge President Biden to reconsider, set down with Republicans and find a better way forward. Good afternoon, everybody. 14,000 jobs. That's what raising the minimum wage to 15 